people nowadays seem to have lost their intelligence. Um, I can't pick up a book on issue 200. I didn't read the first 200 issues. It's a comic book. It's not rocket science. You can read, you can read, pick up a 200 and start from that. You can figure it out. But most people now, even some people who used to seem intelligent, that lived in my day where you couldn't even get all the issues, uh, that uh, um, they're like, oh, I can't read that now. I didn't read the other 200 issues. Are you stupid? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get these people. Oh, man, that's real. That's, there's a lot of backstory I'm never going to understand. It doesn't matter. You're gonna, they, they, in, in Marvel and DC, the characters don't change that much. That's the thing about it. That's why you can if pick it all. up all the time. They're constant. If at all. Things around them change, but the characters are usually always constant. And if they do change, they change slowly over time that sometimes you don't even realize that they change until you go back to, well, they did change. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter. They're still the same. They're still the same character. They still have the same morals. They still have, you know, the same convictions. Um, yeah, so, so, I mean, yeah, you can pick up a book. You can pick up a book at 127 and start doing it. Unless, unless it's something that um, Jonathan Hickman's writing, then, yeah, you, you can read that at, from issue one. You'll never understand it, you know, because his is convoluted garbage. But besides that, not, but, but the way people are trained nowadays because of streaming stuff where all the, where, you know, you can see every episode on, uh, that, that comes out. Um, it's there, and they, and they just they just do it. Um, I, I mean, uh, you talk to people and say, hey, have you watched this season of Modern Family or whatever? Well, I never watched the first six seasons. It's First of all, it's a sitcom. You don't need to watch what's before to understand what's going on now. Yeah, they'll have little minor jokes that, that go on from season to season, but overall, you can, you can turn on the television that, uh, family Guy. Ah, oh, come on. Two halves can't make a hole without a hole. Giggity, 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 giggity. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang. Walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang. Walla, walla, bing, bang. Any of those, uh, any, any, anything, South Park, um, you know, Big Bang Theory, you don't have to watch it from beginning to end. You're going to understand what's going on. It's, it's going to be funny whether you saw them in order or you didn't. This, the, the jokes are still going to be there. But nowadays, these meatballs can, oh, I, I didn't watch the whole thing. I can't watch any of it. Well, you're an idiot. You're just an idiot. Um, it's not hard to figure out, but people nowadays don't seem to be able to figure shit out for themselves. They, they have to be told how to how to figure it out. So, I don't know. I know that's going to be a popular thing to say, but I I don't care. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> yeah. Say it like say it like it is. I know it's going to hurt some feelings. And I know that we're in a day and age, too, that we're not supposed to hurt anybody's feelings because no one's feelings should get hurt. Um, we, we should all apologize for if we said anything bad. I'm not going to apologize, though, um, that, that you're a moron. I'm not, I'm not apologizing. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs>
the episode after the episode, you're you're almost like you're so like stressed <laughs> because it's like a kitchen and it, they, the way they film it, it's like they're actually racing to get stuff done and oh. it's just a lot of stress. Why is it called a bear? Because that's the name of the restaurant. Okay, all right. And I think it's like their last name. It's a nickname. Of yeah. Their last name, yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't. Even, I, I never. I never realized that. Did you watch both seasons? Yeah. Good they show. They said the 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 Christmas episode was the best episode. I liked it. I didn't think it was. It just was annoying. Yeah. Is it a? It gives you the background though of yeah, yeah, yeah. how screwed up the family right. is. But I thought because they were like, oh, that was the best film. Like that was the best episode in TV. That's what they were saying. Yeah. And I was like, I thought the next episode, the last one. No, the I don't. Uh, the the one where the um the cousin, oh yeah, the cousins at the other restaurant. The yes, yeah. yes, yes. That was. I one thought one. that was the best episode. They had a lot of big names in that yeah, oh, yeah. Christmas episode. Yeah. Though. Oh, so this so this isn't a this isn't a reality show no, thing. No, it's, no, it's, no. it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's, it's, it's a made it's a made okay all right okay it's a uh, um. Drama plus they joke around. Did you watch Shameless? No, you didn't have Showtime. Yeah, but but my wife, but I had it for a little. But my wife wa- ended up watching it. The kid, um, one of the kids, Lip. Um, I can't remember his real name, but he's in it. He's the main character. Yeah, we um, had yeah we had Showtime. We had Showtime for a little. We had Showtime for a little while. Um, then we never have it. We always end up watching it. She ended up watching it when we got the free Showtime weekends, so she could finish off. She could finish off the Shameless. But I never, I never, I never watched it all. Thank you. I remember that kid. Yeah, I know that guy. He's the main character. Um, his brother that passed away was uh, Punisher. Punisher there. Okay. Uh, Shane from. Yeah, I hate that guy. And then his mom's Jamie Lee Curtis. His, the, his, one of his, his uncles. The he's like a doctor in like every TV show. Known to mankind, the, guy the, <laughs> the big guy with the glasses. Is um is is the, the Punisher FS character show. the Punisher character guy? Uh, he's a dick. Is he a dick too? Yeah, yeah he's. he's a I dick. think he plays himself. I think in real life he's probably a dick. Yeah, I, I just think he plays himself. I can't. He's he's the guy. He's the guy. I, I love him as the Punisher. I think he's great as the Punisher. He's perfect as Shane um, in Walking Dead. Too. Oh, I hated him. You know, he, was, he was a dick, but I wish I wish he died as quick as he did in the comic. It didn't take two two seasons for him to die. Um, I see that guy. I hear his voice on the. I hear his voice on the television. I'm not even. I want to kick. The te- he triggers me. I want to. I want to. I want to kick the television over and just stomp on it in his face. You know, it's. Uh, but he always plays that guy too. Because when he was in the. Was he in Band of Brothers? No. Oh no, he was in the. Um, Thank God, he was in that other war movie though. Tom Hanks. Fury or something. He was in Fury, but then he was in the Tom Hanks movie too. The um, Saving Private Ryan. I think so. Oh, okay, I don't remember him being in that. Yeah, I think he was a dick in the, the oh. dick, but I know he was a dick in Fury. Yeah, yeah. you know he's a dick in everything. He's, 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 he, he was, was in that he was, gangster show. He was yeah. I, I couldn't watch that gangster show. My wife watched it. She liked it, but he was. I couldn't. I couldn't. I just couldn't watch it. Can't stand him. But I liked him in. Uh, I liked him in that show HBO just did about the Baltimore cops who. Uh, who all went to who all went to jail because they killed they started the riots the Baltimore riots uh, oh. maybe I don't know eight years ago or maybe it could be maybe it could be ten years ago it, it all it goes in but um, he was in that show he was a dick and through the whole time we go I hope this guy gets murdered or he gets or he goes to jail sure enough he was part of the problem of that of the guy, of one of the guys dying in, in custody he went to jail like great and he and he, it's still the whole time I didn't do anything wrong I didn't do anything. Yeah, I wish he really was going into jail. I wish someone forgot, locked up, and forgot he was even there. But as an actor, he's perfect for those kind of roles. I'd rather, I'd rather just stop doing the subs. Oh, what we should do is we should re, we should rearrange the thing of. All right, we're not doing subscriptions anymore. You do subscriptions, you get no discount. You buy it off the shelf, you get a ten percent discount. You do, you do a ton more work. You do a ton more work to put subscriptions away for people, and then. 15% of them don't pick up the shit anyways. So you lose you lose that money. Um, just throwing them up on the shelf, that's what people should get the discount. You want to you subscribe, right? you pay full price. Matter of fact, maybe you pay a stipend this way because we're doing extra work for you. But the con of that, sometimes people won't, aren't here or able to be here 
every Wednesday, so they might miss out on books. Well, I know you don't. They should. Uh, they should pay more attention, though. You know, it's. Uh, I mean, or you can say, hey, I do care. Yeah. Sometimes I don't get out of work before you close. You're right. You're right. So. But, but a lot of so many people don't. Uh, but so many people don't pick up their subs after after Sorry, it's I all know. done. I pick up my subs. No, no, you're not. You're not the problem. So why do I get punished? Because you, the, you, sometimes mm. it's called collateral damage. Sure. Collateral damage. It happens. Happens in war. And yeah, you just happen to be next to three guys that don't pick up their subs. You got fired with them. <laughs> keep it for a month. They don't come in in a month. See ya. Yeah, it's great. But you still have a month's worth of shit that you didn't need to order. You know, it's now it's like, hey, here's what's ordered. Here's on the shelf. You get a discount there. You still want a sub? Great. You just don't get a discount. But then you don't get the book. I think, or you should stop. We should stop pre-selling. We should stop pre. You know, like, all right, there has to be a fifty-dollar deposit every time. You know, for what about a time limit? After a month, you pay full price. You don't get the discount. <laughs> they may not still come in after that, so it doesn't really matter, does it? You know, it's uh. You know, it's all right. We, have, well, we need a fifty dollars deposit for every for every sub. When it gets to fifty dollars, and they they haven't come and picked it up, you you stop ordering this stuff, and they're done. You know, it's uh. How about this? Hey, all I know is I'm. How about this? Subs for friends. That's it. Oh, I'm well, friend. did, did I just say? Did I just say some of the friends are the worst? You yeah, know, but, it's uh. But the ones that you see the most. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you're definitely gonna sub. I know. Like, you just so. remember, you're, you're still one of the guys that if I, if I was a close tomorrow, I'd still be hanging with you, right? right. Right, but like I'd do the list with you. I'd yeah. try to be here. No hell, you, yeah. dude, you do my heavy lifting for right. me. Right, no, that's all. That's all I'm saying. Like if it's just McKenzie, no. and nobody else, and everybody else has to look, no. then that's fine. All right, hey, we're good. We're good. Tell hey. me. Hey, no, hey, me and you, we almost die every every couple months, and we do all, and we have to do all that supply runs. Yeah. Getting close to getting some boards and bags again. Oh yeah. Not happy about it. Yeah, <laughs> but it's cooling off, so it's not a thousand degrees going still, up there. But still. Yeah. It wasn't that hot going up there that time. No, no, it, it wasn't. was after the eating. No, yeah, that we almost died. Yeah. Right, don't eat before you do it. No, but it says no. If you get named after a driver, you get named after the greatest driver of of, of this modern day, Kyle Busch. Mm. All right, one of the few guys that would. I mean, I'm not a. I don't follow much NASCAR. I I, I wasn't it, two th things that made me feel classic because she liked NASCAR. Every time she came in, I made sure I used to read. One of the Sunday paper they used to have a oh. little section on NASCAR, mm. and so we'd have a I'd, I'd call it our NASCAR minute, okay. and we'd talk, we'd, we'd, we'd just talk <laughs> about NASCAR. Um, you would race through the three facts you had memorized. Yeah, bang, bang, bang! Out we, out we go. You know, we talked about the race from the last week, which I never watched. I just saw mm -hmm. who won. I let her give me all the information on it, and mm. and that was it. And then we used to be in a race car pool. Oh. Um, Again, you'd have to know nothing, know nothing about this, because usually there's 40 people in a race. Mm. Um, so there's 40 people in the pool, and every every week we draw a number, and whatever number you have is the position number of where they are in the race. So you get one, you get the pole position guy. So you get what they have. If they win the race, we won I don't know 100 bucks or whatever, right? But all the other money that we paid into went to the end of the year for points. Mm. So that that week that you had some racer, we'll say Kyle Busch, and he got 44 points for the week. You got the 44 points f for you. So whoever had the most points at the end of the year mm. won the rest of the pool. It was, you know, it was like a thousand dollars or whatever, you know. So mm -hmm. so yeah, we did uh so we did this all the time. So that made you. Look to see who actually won the race of <laughs> like so that is that is close to NASCAR that I cared mm. about. But I thought Kyle Bush was awesome because he was young, upcoming, being held back by the by Gordon and um mm. the other clown that was with Gordon, um I can't think of his name, he won a million races, but yeah. it doesn't matter, right? And uh um the uh he went out on his own after because he was on their team and he was he went out on his own. Mm -hmm. And he started winning races constantly. Mm -hmm. So now this guy, though, was racing. You had Friday night truck races. Saturday night was I don't remember. I don't remember what the what the what that was called. But that was like their the kind of like the the triple A of racing. And then Sunday was the race. He mm -hmm. raced all three nights. Oh wow! And then several times he won all three races, which not a lot of people did it. Did it. Yeah. So this guy's got more wins than friggin' almost everybody. Mm. So, um, but she hates him. And but he he was a little cocky. Mm. Oh yeah, he was he was. He, you win every race. Yeah. Well, he was he was like, see, I knew I could do this. <laughs> you guys held me back. And yeah, he was kind mm. of a smart. He was the he was if he was a wrestler, he'd be a heel. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
I like the heels. I right. root for the heels. So, right. so yeah. So Kyle Busch is <laughs> Some my would guy. Someone say you are a heel. You know something? And I'm okay <laughs> with that. Right. You know, I'm okay being the heel. Mm -hmm. Um, so. So I became a Cal Busch fan. He drove an M and M car or whatever, and I like I like the look of the car, I like M and M's, you know. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, she doesn't like him. So when she says I'm naming my baby Chase, I go, "You name it, Kyle." Um, mm. So I got her for for her kid. I got a Kyle Busch like, baby <laughs> shirt, you know. You know it's uh, and every time the kid comes in now, it's it's Kyle. I call him Kyle all the time. Never call never call him Chase. It's Kyle. So kid. yeah. Kid's all right. Kid likes me. You know, it's, uh, mm -hmm. um, I don't really know. He's don't just think... a little confused yeah, every yeah, time he little... interacts with you, yeah. I guess. Why, why, am I, why am I called Kyle? <laughs> don't, don't ask. He's a, that, she probably says, he's a nut job. Just, uh, mm. you know, just go with it. Just go with it. There's something wrong up here in his head. You know, it's, <laughs> <laughs> and it's right. He's probably, mm. they're, they're probably right. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at what I do. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. They are right. <laughs> <laughs> Did I rag on any of these books this week of, of yours? Not that I recall. I found Brave and the Bold on the shelf. I don't know if I forgot to add it to my pull in time or what, but I don't think any of my books were ragged on somehow. Maybe they're all great. They're definitely not all great. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I would say they're not you've got, all great. You've got, you've got Doom Patrol in here. That's uh, Very good. Yeah. That's good. Mm-hmm. That one's not one of the ones I'm conceding is bad. Good. This? Oh. That one's good. That one's very bad. Yeah. Well, this but is it's the over, yep, so yep. I'm fine with it. Good this so is, far. Yeah. I like. Do you like Jason Burroughs? Yes. Artwork. I do. So, so there's another thing All we agree right. on artwork because I like Jason Burroughs' artwork too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm. I'm a fan of. It. I think Corey doesn't like it. I think Corey thinks he's a little, uh, you know, plain or. He's good with like. Horror, gore yeah. kind of illustration. I mean, I mean, Jason Burroughs, I think, did some. I mean, this is just normal, you know. I mean, mm. that's pretty much the whole book in here right now. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of talking heads so far. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, I think he did. Cro Jason Burroughs did some cross. Did some cross. Yeah. yeah, and it was fantastic. But it wasn't as good as Juan Jose Rip. That guy. <laughs> that guy is. That guy is by far better than Burroughs, Scrochy, uh, Scochi, or whatever was his name. I think Scrochy. Yeah, I've Scrocy, never yeah. heard it pronounced. Yeah, I haven't either. either. Um, I would still take I would still take Juan Jose Rip over all those mm. guys. I love that guy. This I think is your, as I wrote to you today. Yeah, you said I, that positive thing. That yes, yes. This is probably the best DC book of the week. I've got hopes for it. Yeah, the Penguin. I've got hopes mm -hmm. for it too. I didn't bring it home to read it, but I, I'm hoping that <laughs> it's right. good. People like it, and it actually has good it's, sales. You're still boycotting DC line wide, but in a theoretical sense, you're like, yeah, this is probably worth a read. Right. Oh yeah. Yep. What may break me, mm. I'm having to read a DC book, mm -hmm. is, um, yeah, DC, Justice League versus Godzilla oh, and right. King Kong. That's right. That's going to be tough <laughs> not to read. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. You could always read it on the sly and just tell everyone, yeah, the boycott's still going strong. Yeah, that's not me. No. I mean, that's not me. <laughs> you don't like to fabricate. No. 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 <laughs> no. It's all the truth. Okay. All uh, above board here. Yeah, at right. Exactly. Exactly. At least if I believe it's the truth. You oh. know? It's, uh, <laughs> sometimes I may be telling something that's not true, but I didn't know. You mm -hmm. know, it's. Mm -hmm. I mean, that happens once in a while. Lying requires intent. If, uh. Yeah, if you don't realize. Right. Right. So someone says, "Dude, that's totally wrong. That is totally wrong. <laughs> what you just talked about. Oh, mm -hmm. really? I I didn't know. Yeah, you know, it's mm -hmm. uh, right. Like Mark Miller. Mm. How much? How how often we say Millar? Mm, All the time. I think you told me it was Miller, right? Or I probably did. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah. I think he says, no, it's Mark Miller because you saw something that said. But, you know, if you remember, maybe in the United States it's pronounced Millar. <laughs> because, remember, we had we had Mark Millar, the, um, Red, Sox. the Red Sox player. Mm -hmm. His last name was, was spelled the same way, and it was pronounced Millar. Mm. So you see Kevin Millar, right? Kevin. Kevin, yeah, Kevin. Millar. Um, so you see that, you automatically assume it's Millar. Don't realize that in another country that still speaks English, mm -hmm. that spells the same English the same way too, <laughs> right. that Millar is would be Miller, which we would spell with an E at the mm -hmm. end if we if we call it Miller. Yep. Wouldn't know it. Nope. So all this time I was sad, then you told me, and I made sure I pointed out mm. on, on one of the episodes, 
I said his name wrong, and I'm sorry <laughs> about that. And Tynan, too. I did not Tynan, pronounce it. Yeah. You told me Tynan. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's not Tinian. It's not Tynian. It's Tynan. Mm -hmm. Okay? As much as I make fun of that guy, I still want to get his name right. You know? Yeah. It's... Mm -hmm. And there's some people I just won't even try to pronounce. I just can't. I don't want to. I don't want to butcher it. Right. You know, it's mm -hmm. that's conscientious. Yeah. So you you haven't been here for two weeks. True. And you've got two Mark Miller books. <laughs> He's a workhorse. <laughs> yes, he is. I yes. mean, that book's over, but nevertheless, he's really churning them out these days. Yeah. Yep. And some are better than others. I mean, you're not going to get total. Excellent. Like, you know, where every book you read from a writer is the greatest thing you've ever read. You know, it's, uh, but I mean, the fact that he still gets about and he still puts out even his worst stuff is better than some of the good stuff of other, of mm. other writers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a workhorse. Yep. Love the guy. That's pretty good. Yeah, just because he's, just because he's professional mm. and he puts, he puts out stuff, he works hard and he doesn't use the excuses. Oh, I couldn't, I can't get this out because... I've got something that's being put out on Netflix, and I have mm -hmm. to be there, Brian K. Vaughn. Um, <laughs> right. You know, because he still had stuff <laughs> being put out, and he still got his stuff out on time, and was still working working in Hollywood or mm -hmm. whoever, you know, could be in Canada or whoever was making making the TV show that 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 he has mm -hmm. um, or movie. He was still he was still doing that and still getting his stuff out. Yep. Now, like, well, I was working on this. Well, so was Mark. Mm. And Mark is still putting out five books a month. Mm. You're not putting out one like Saga. You read Saga, right? Mm -hmm. They still have one issue left of, of the story <laughs> arc, right? That's that, been delayed a couple months for yeah. reasons unknown to me. Yeah, but, reasons unknown to me yeah. either. But um, you took a three-year hiatus, <laughs> and then you still took another hiatus after an arc, and somehow you still can't get it out. Yeah. And I'm, I can't just be all about about Vaughn. Mm. That's Throw Staples under the bus too. It could be one. It could be her. It's one of the two, right? It's Fiona Staples at the Zia, right? Yeah. yeah. It could be one of the two. So I'm blaming it on Mark. I mean on uh, Brian. Brian okay. Yeah, I'm blaming. I'm blaming it on Brian. But if it's <laughs> Staples' fault too, she's unprofessional too. But you know, a right an artist can't get if she doesn't get a script to draw. That's true. You can't draw it. Mm. But if she's had the script for three months, it's all her fault. <laughs> so I wish I wish one of them would say. I throw which one throw <laughs> which other the bus. Blame the other. Yeah, well, who's gonna who's gonna step up and say it's not me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that's an example of stepping up. Yeah, <laughs> who's blaming your co-creator? <laughs> F hey, them. I did my part. Right. Well, hey, you know something though? You. I'm gonna step up and blame my friend yeah. and co-creator. Yeah, but you know something though? Do you look right like a thing. piece of you look like an unprofe unprofessional piece of garbage too. Mm -hmm. Even though you are totally professional, well, the other one is an unprofessional piece mm -hmm. of garbage. Got to guard so, your own reputation. Yeah, I mm -hmm. mean, because I mean, a lot of a lot of what they're doing is their reputation. So you know, if if they're going through, well, you know, she, man, she can't get she can't get a book out on time. Do we really want to? Do we really want to hire her? You know, it's uh, mm -hmm. to to do what to do whatever. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, we got a six issue series. We'd like it to come out in six months, and then we can put a trade out. Um, we don't want the six issues to come out in a year and a half. Right. So, and then she's got to stop and say, it's him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or vice versa. You know, it's... <laughs> if, I mean, if I find out it's all her, I'm done making fun of Brian K. Vaughn. Oh, oh, wow. I'll even give him the K again. Oh, wow. Yeah. Maybe I can dig up a little dirt on Fiona just to get BKV back in your good graces. Yeah, because, I mean, BKV used to be the guy. I mean, he, used to, he, he, wrote, some, he wrote some great, he wrote some great mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. And then he's got this. <laughs> Which you would point to, except it's not there. It's not there, exactly. <laughs> exactly, that was the point.